If radiology had a crystal ball, it would be the McCormick Center after Thanksgiving. Hundreds of companies, big and small, converge as part of the annual meeting of the Radiological Society of North America. Many technologies are being shown for the first time. Some will be released in the coming few months. Others are still experimental, works in progress. I'm Greg Fryer. This is my 32nd RSNA. If you were at RSNA 2015, I'll give you the context for what you saw. If you weren't here, I'll show you what you missed. More than 40 years have passed since the first working CT produced clinical images. These were grainy images that looked more like oatmeal than the human brain. Since then, CT has come a long way. Scanners chugged patients through their gantries until in 1990, continuous scans created a spiral view. Eight years later, CT was revolutionized with the first multi-slice scanners. Then in 2007, the first scanner capable of capturing the heart or brain in a single rotation was unveiled. Today, efficiency, cost effectiveness, and low dose are what CT innovation is about. Toshiba American Medical Systems illustrates how the CT market has changed over the past several years. In 2007, Toshiba was the first company to develop a CT scanner big enough to cover the heart or brain in a single rotation. At this year's RSNA, the company is featuring a 16-slice scanner that executives say aligns perfectly with the needs of many U.S. customers. Well, what we believe from Toshiba is that Lightning really fits our customers' needs. First, if you look at the size of this gantry, if you look at how low the table goes, if you look at the size of the opening, Aquilion Lightning is really built for customers here in the U.S. with a 660-pound couch, a 78-centimeter bore, and a compact gantry that fits into small rooms. And Lightning is packed with power. Aquilion Lightning includes Ader 3D dose reduction. It includes CMAR metal artifact reduction. It includes Pure Vision technology to give you all the same dose reduction that premium tier scanners bring. With the launch of Aquilion Lightning, our 16 detector, 32 slice scanner that really meets our customers' needs here in the U.S. <laughs> Radiology's ongoing transformation from a business model based on quantity to one focused on value is reflected in mid-tier and entry-level CTs shown at Hitachi America Medical Systems. The company is positioning new versions of its Scenario 64 and 128 slice CTs as workhorses in the mid-tier segment and the latest addition to its CT portfolio, the Supria 16 slice system, as an easy-to-site entry-level product. Supri is an excellent value-based 16-slice CT solution that is remarkably compact. It has excellent patient accommodation features, features a 500-pound weight capacity table, a large 75-centimeter aperture, so it's well-suited to larger American patients, a powerful 48kW generator, and uh, Supri fits in a scan room as small as 200 square feet. At the RSNA this year, Hitachi is also showing the newest version of our Scenario 64 128 slice CT. We're showing our new SE version of Scenario. We've added a large number of additional features to improve the speed and ease of use of the systems so hospitals can use it as their dependable workhorse for performing a large volume of patient scans. We've increased reconstruction speed by 40% up to a standard reconstruction speed of 50 images per second. We've increased NPR reconstruction speed, we've added an instant preview recon mode, and we've even increased the weight capacity of the table from 500 pounds to now it's 550 pounds for our standard table so that we can accommodate bariatric patients. GE was one of the first to develop CT a half century ago a pioneer of spiral imaging in the 1990s and among the very earliest makers of multi-slice scanners starting in 1998. At this year's RSNA, the company is focusing on how its Revolution CT scanners can handle challenging patients. This year in GECT, we're highlighting the Revolution CT family of products. 
and we're focusing on clinical excellence for your most challenging patients. The challenge for cardiac imaging is the ability to image patients with high heart rate and variable heart rate. And this system is able to freeze the motion and visualize the plaque of the coronary artery and also do myocardial perfusion, which requires a whole heart coverage uh, CT detector system. So this system with 512 slices and 16 centimeters of coverage is able to deliver that. For the first time, we are introducing the Revolution CT ES. The ES is an eight centimeter configuration of the Revolution CT targeted at the emergency department. The emergency department is the fastest growing procedure segment for CT. 37% of procedures in CT are done in the emergency department. And examples like polytrauma, uh, the ability of patients who want to do free breathing CT and to image people fast in a trauma situation is the advantage of this eight centimeter detector to image head to toe in under five seconds. Rather than just visualizing body tissues and structures, spectral CT can, in some cases, determine the chemical composition. The key to doing so on Philips Icon CT scanner is a multi-energy detector that selectively records signals from x-rays with different energies. At RSNA 2015, Philips Healthcare introduced spectral magic glass for use on its PAC system. Magic Glass simplifies the review and analysis of spectral data obtained using the ICON scanner. Spectral Magic Glass on PACS enhances the power and the clinical performance of the ICON spectral CT. It's a fast, lightweight viewer allowing for fast and rapid interactive problem solving during routine scans on PACS. Philips Nanopanel Prism Detector allows simultaneous measurement of both high and low energies. The yttrium-based garnet scintillator on the top layer records the lower energies. The gadolinium oxysulfide scintillator on the bottom picks up the higher ones. The data they collect form the basis of the conventional grayscale image. Then, if the physician wants to see the spectral information for a particular region of interest, those data can be called up using Philips Magic Glass. On PACS, there is a suspect pathology, so the radiologist within seconds would launch the spectral magic glass and it maintains the clinical context and launches directly to the axial slice that the radiologist was reviewing on PACS. And as you can see, within seconds, the radiologist has generated spectral results. Magic glass is very easy to use. It requires no training and it actually brings and truly enhances spectral CT to those people who have limited experience with it. Siemens has been a pioneer of CT. Among the earliest makers of CTs in the 1970s, the developer of Spiral CT in 1990, one of the first in 1998 to manufacture a multi-slice scanner. Ten years ago, the company introduced Dual Beam CT, a technology comprised of two X-ray tubes and two detectors, oriented at 90 degrees to each other. It can be used to double the speed of the scan so as to capture even rapidly beating hearts. Or it can scan patients with x-rays at two different energies so as to determine the composition of certain body tissues and in some cases better identify disease. At this year's RSNA, Siemens is unveiling a CT scanner that performs dual beam scanning with a single x-ray tube and detector by splitting the beam as it comes out of the tube. So we launched the first dual source CT in 2005. It was the first generation dual source CT and it was started as the first objective was to bring the cardiac imaging much better and because we have two sources we came up with the dual energy application. The customers wanted us to come up also for the dual energy on a single source platform for those who couldn't afford a dual source and that's how last year we launched our dual source, our dual energy based uh, CT called the twin beam dual energy on the symptom definition edge. It's such an innovative concept, the twin beam dual energy. Imagine the patient is lying on this axis, this is the y axis, this is the z axis when the patient is lying, and the gantry is rotating around him. So as the gantry is rotating, simultaneously, 
At the same time, the beam is splitting get into low energy and the high energy, and then you get the full 360 degree information of the twin beam, the low energy and the high energy information of the patient simultaneous and without compromises, and it is dose neutral. And that is why it is such a novel concept that you don't always need to have the dual sources. If you can't afford it, you can still get routine, good dual energy, also with this twin beam concept. For those who want to do routine plus research, then the dual source based dual energy is still the choice because it gives, gives you a purer form of energy separation and you have thin filter possibilities and all that. So that's where the separation comes. Breast compression is a much disliked but necessary part of mammography. Conan Corporation has come up with a novel solution, a CT scanner that does not need to flatten the breast. After extensive clinical testing, the product has been approved by the FDA for sale in the U.S. as a diagnostic system. The Conan KBCT breast scanner is different than other devices out there today, including tomosynthesis. Tomosynthesis is a limited sweep where KBCT is a 360 degree rotation around the breast producing genuine isotropic imaging. And we do this without compression and at a dose that is within the range of diagnostic mammography. If you notice on the monitor on the right, there's a conventional mammogram that is showing an area of concern. And if we move over to the next monitor, you're seeing the display from the KBCT system. This is true multiplanar reconstruction with 3D reformatting. If we understand on the mammogram that there's an area of concern, an obvious area of concern, when we put 360 degree isotropic imaging into play, we are able to identify that not only does that one area of concern show up, but behind that you'll see a second area that is also a diseased area that the radiologist would have clearly missed if he only had the reference to that one mammogram. KBCT currently has been cleared in the United States as a diagnostic breast imaging tool. Our goal is to move this, tr this technology to the next level, complete the clinical trial, and submit for a screening indication. On the horizon is a CT designed just for examining the extremities. Knees, ankles, feet, elbow, wrist, and hands. Its unique design promises to improve workflow, make patient assessment more accurate, and decrease the time it takes for a patient to move from diagnosis to treatment. Designed by CareStream Health, this CT scanner, experimental and still in clinical testing, is unlike any other in both the way it looks and how it works. CareStream is designing a um, comb beam CT device that's intended to uh, image both upper and lower extremities. And it has some unique uh, features about it. Uh, one of the things, particularly for lower extremities, is you can do a weight-bearing exam. So you can do uh, weight-bearing exams of the knee, ankle, and feet, uh, unlike you can do with many, many other uh, devices. You can see from the footprint of this device that it's relatively small compared to other CT devices and it's been designed to go into uh, a number of locations including a physician's office, an imaging center, or a hospital. Um, it's uh, been shielded uh, such that in most instances uh, you'll not require any special uh, shielding and it runs off standard wall power. One of the unique features that the system has is a door which makes it easy for the patient to um, be positioned. I only need to glide the patient in and then I can close the door so that we can do the scan. There are patient support arms to help the patient remain steady during the 25 second um, scan acquisition. We can move the system vertically, obviously. We also have the ability to angle the board this way as well as this way. So if any of the auto positions don't work for the um, particular patient, you can modify the auto position to make them more comfortable. We've also made it possible to do sitting exams for those patients that can't stand. There have been a lot of design uh, enhancements put into the system in order to make this easy for the patient to access as well as for the user to position the patient with, with the least amount of work. Mm -hmm. 
So once it's in the position for the sitting knee, we can bring in a, a chair. And all we need to do is pivot the chair to get the patient's leg into the board. Some of our uh, special software that we've developed, our iterative reconstruction, does things such as metal artifact correction. Uh, if you have uh, uh, any kind of metal from a brace or, or a total knee replacement, we're able to take the artifacts from the metal uh, out of the image uh, such that the, uh, you know, the anatomy can be seen uh, much better. The makers of CT equipment are stepping off the trodden path and taking the medical community with them. Ahead is a world of changing workflows, decreasing times from diagnosis to treatment, and improving patient care.